Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here, and today we're doing another figure review, the sidekicks of Sonic. As we have Tails and Knuckles here, um, standing up on their own. Um, it's very, it's much easier to balance Tails because of his, t he has one very big tail, which makes no sense. But we're gonna get into that, we're gonna get to that in the video. Um, then Knuckles, but Knuckles can stand up, just bend them over a little bit because of his, um, you know, huge quills at the back. But anyway, we're going to set Knuckles to the side, and we're going to be evaluating Tails first. Now, this Tails figure... What the... Something looks like it's wrong with my camera. Oh, my gosh. Uh, okay, whatever. Uh, maybe there was nothing wrong. Anyway, um, as I was saying... Basically, um, this Tails figure is pretty solid. It's actually one of my favorites, kind of. Um, kind of because I don't have, I've never gotten that many Tails figures. I've only gotten like one other one, so in the past, so you know. Um, but uh, truthfully, it's a pretty good figure. Um, you know, he has his hand holding his like, you know, my eyes electric, and then he's tapping the buttons or whatever. Um, one thing I do really like about this is that the tails help him stand up, unlike some other figures, where the tails kind of just weigh him down and make him fall. So I do really like that. But one downside to the tails, or one, not downside, but one thing I just don't understand is why there's two, like, one tail is bigger than the other. Now, like, with classic tails, it made sense because it gave the illusion that there were, like, two tails or it gave the um what is it basically like the tails kind of needed to overlap each other because of how that figure was made but with this like because they're both going the same direction they need to be the same like length if you will you know what i'm saying and i know tomi isn't making any more figures but it's still kind of sad to see this and i would love for them to just change it but of course kind of can't right now Kind of can't now. It's whatever. Um, one more downside that I will mention, a huge one too, is the um, how they basically cut into like the stomach of tails and basically just put like put it put the legs there. And I feel like the legs could be maybe possibly a little shorter or just give him a bigger body. Like still, that's those are some problems with this sculpt. Is that like a t one tail is way too big. And then they just basically, they it's just, it's too small of a, like a body piece, in my opinion. Of course, if you think differently, that's fine. Um, Overall, though, this figure looks good. He has the blue eyes, nice hair streaks at the top, um, you know, the chest fur or whatever you want to call it, stomach fur, I don't know what you want to call it, Um, the gloves, and pretty much everything else is very on point. Um, There is one little thing, though, because... I do know this came in the same package as, like, a Sonic figure, too. And, um, I don't know if you guys can see this, actually. But there's, like, some blue paint smudge on here. Um, and I have no idea why. Like, did they get some of the, like, his eye paint down on the... Like, how do you get that wrong? That's so weird. And that's, like, the... Oh, wait. No, in that, and then I see, like, a black smudge of paint right here, too. <clears throat> I guess maybe because black for his nose. At least it's closer. Like, here's his nose, and then here's, like, the smudges. But, like, how does this, the blue eye, the paint for his eyes, because he has blue eyes, go from up there to down here? That just makes no sense. <clears throat> We're going to set him to the side, though, as we pull out Knuckles. One of my favorite Sonic characters still to this day. <clears throat> so, we have Knuckles the Echidna, Echidna, Guardian of the Master Emerald, and such, and I actually should lower the camera. There we go. That's better. Um, and, uh, yeah, the attention to detail on this is very nice, because he has one, two, three. Yep, it's because he has one more quill than Sonic has. <clears throat> um, which he's supposed to. The nice white stripe on his chest. Um, I would say these are a few smudges of paint, but I know that was just like accident, accidental stuff that happened to this figure. 
um, while my brothers are playing with it. Um, another Tomy figure, of course. Very well designed with the shoes, the attention to detail. You know, with the with the yellow, red, the gray, the dots on top, like the you know whatever the dots or whatever on top of the gray, like plates, metal plates, the green anklets, and just everything with this figure is nice. Um, attention to detail wise, the lightning strike shaped tail, very well done. And then um, crap, I never talked about articulation with that figure. I'll just do it right here right now. Um, articulation wise, he has shoulder joints, um, hip joints, the hip joints, and then <clears throat> he does have a head joint, but because of his like dread, like quills, like his dread, his dreads <clears throat> can't really move that far or that much, which is honestly fine with me. I never really use the head joints that much anyway. And then for tails, we have the shoulder joints, of course, and then the hip joints. Um, okay, he does have a head joint. I didn't know. I didn't know. Um, pretty good articulation. Still no tail joint. I'm telling you guys, this is a missed opportunity. Seriously. Um, for him, it's not as much because it kind of has to be sculpted a certain way and like a lightning shape, like a lightning bolt shape. So I will give it a pass on that as a missed opportunity because it's really just not. Unless you were able to like move it maybe up and down, but still, it's not really a missed opportunity. Um, I do like how the knuckles gloves have actual points that you can tell like are kind of like poking you or whatever. Like it doesn't hurt, but you know, instead of just like little nubs or whatever on there. <clears throat> just looking at this figure, it looks just very solid and very good. Um, overall. Now, how do they fit in the Sonic collection? Well, I think this one fits in better than this one. I would go get a different Tails for sure. But uh, I would like to know what you guys, how you guys feel in the comments. No lie. Um, playability wise, they're pretty even. Honestly, they only have five points of articulation. Which um, these Tommy figures, in my opinion, are more for collecting than play. Because they only have about five points of articulation each. So, like, each one of these Tomy figures. Except for the Chow figures, which I might go over. But, you know, there's nothing really to go over. But, um, you know, on that note, guys, um, I think this is the end of this one. So, thank you all so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And um, I will see you all in the next one for more. Goodbye.